Hey everyone, uh, in this video, this is my first MATLAB video, I'm just going to be going over uh, how I set up a file so it's easy to read, uh, easy to come back to later uh, so that you know what's going on in your own code. Um, okay, so the first thing I do is I start with kind of a title section, so in this one I'll just call it uh, MATLAB setup file, or MATLAB setup, and I also, I also write who it was written by, so in this case, by me, whoops. And the started date, so whenever I started it, so today is 0.309.14, and then I also put an updated date, um, so that I can come back and and every time I, I read or every time I update the file, I can I can change the update uh, date, so I know what I did last if I have a journal of comments. Um, so then the first thing I do in terms of uh, in terms of the workspace is to clear all the workspace variables. So this clears all the variables over here, which you'll see later, and then I also clear the command window which is this one down here. And then I use comment sections uh, or code folding sections, um, which uh, you do by putting the double percentage sign, so like here. Uh, so I'll call this one um, user input parameters, uh, just for the code that I'm gonna be, the quick code that I'm writing right now, and then the next one I'll call uh, solve. So in this case, you can see how it highlights, maybe it's hard to see, but it highlights a little, a different color here, a different color here. Um, and this is so that you can actually, it's easier to to see um, your different sections of code, and then it's easier to code fold as well, which I'll show uh, later. So uh, my simple program is just to be adding a couple numbers, which is super boring, um, but this is just to show how this works. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just output to the command window down here using fprintf, um, setting user parameters, uh, and then I'm going to put a new line there. And then I'm just going to put in uh, a variable a equals two. And then what I like to do is comment everything, because then it makes it easier to come back uh, and see what you actually did. So this is user sets uh, value of a. And then for b, I'm going to set it three. And this is user sets value of b. Okay. So that's this first section. And then in my solve section, I'm going to print to the screen solving equation. Oops. With a new line. And then C is equal to A plus B, and that's solve for C. And I actually like to have all these comments line up. Okay, and then output to the screen the value of C. So C equals percent I, because I'm printing an integer value, new line, and then the value of C. Oops, okay. So save that. So if I run this whole file, I should be able to see that C is equal to 5 in this command window here. So you use F5. And you can see that it's setting user parameters, f and f solving uh, the equation, and then it sets c equal to 5 or solves for c. So what you can do also then is um, you can, using these code folding, you can close these up so you have a shorter code and you can see, you know, oh, what does this section do? It's user input parameters. If you don't want to open it up, you can just hover over these here and it'll show you, it'll show you what the code is. Same for here. Um, but what makes these great is that you can just evaluate each section by itself by pressing control enter. So if I press control enter in here, it's going to clear all the variables here, or sorry, up here. I'm pointing to the screen with my finger. Uh, and then it's also going to clear the command window here. So I'm going to press control enter, and you can see it got rid of the variables up here and everything down here. And then if I want to set A and B here, I'm just going to press control enter. In this region, it'll you'll see A and B here, and you'll see only setting user parameters down here. So. That's what happens with that. And then here, control enter again, it'll solve the equation, it'll add C up here, and it'll print everything else down here. Okay, uh, so in terms of, for code folding, it might not seem useful for this example because there's only like 23 lines in this code, but if you look at, I have another example of something, of another code that I have that uses code folding, and you can see this one is, you know, it's eight, 891 lines essentially, and I code fold here, and you can see that these sections get pretty big uh, so it's nice that you can just code fold everything, and it's you know in this section it's inputting the grid file, which if I expand it, it's a little it's kind of annoying to read everything. So this goes through the general flow of the of the file. Uh, another way, so let me go to oops, to home and then to preferences. So for code folding, if you go to preferences and you go to editor debugger and you go to code folding, you can select which ones you, you want to fold. I don't like it when it folds if else blocks. It just is annoying to me. So I just set it uh, the way that I had it up, but you can experiment with that. Uh, so this is a just a setup file for MATLAB and I'm going to be doing some more MATLAB uh, tutorials uh, later on. So thanks for watching.